Hey everyone, Kirk Colling here from Cryptify. Hope you are doing well uh, on this sunny day. Well, it is sunny where I am today. Uh, hopefully the market has been treating you well and you've all been making some gains if you have been trading. Uh, obviously, Bitcoin is looking to make a big move very shortly. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, we're not here to talk about uh, alt season. We're not here to talk about altcoins or Bitcoin. We're here to talk about Forsea. So we have launched Forsea. Um, and we have made an announcement recently in Discord and Facebook that we have partnered uh, with a US-based company called Stacked Invest. And there's a bunch of reasons why we did partner with Stacked. Um, we had been toing and throwing with the idea about creating our own dashboard platform for our members to uh, integrate and use as part of the trading bot system. However, with all the other things that we've got going on and all the other ideas we're trying to build out, we seen it as a very good business case to partner with Stack for a bunch of reasons. Uh, they're a really reputable company. Alan and his team are on point. They're really, really good. They offer 24-hour support uh, for all of their uh, users. Um, they've got awesome interface, really good dashboard. Um, so you can just log in, check out your portfolio, how your portfolio is going. They uh, provide the notification system. So you can have it on email or on your desktop. So every time... Uh, it, uh, for Sia Take to Trade, you're going to get a notification so you can stay up to date. So there's a bunch of reasons why it made uh, really good sense to partner with Stacked. And so far, so good, and we're really happy with them. Um, so going forward, that's what we're going to do. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover a bunch of other things, um, funds, API, and we're also going to go through a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to set your account up with Stacked and the exchange you've chosen. So uh, let's dive into that. Uh, but one thing before uh, I go into that, I also um, need to continue to stress that we, as in Cryptify, the team, do not control any of your funds and uh, Stacked, Invest, do not control any of your funds. Your exchange is managed by yourself as always uh, and the API is linked to your exchange and Fosia is trading out of your account in and out of a trade and funds go back into your uh, accounts. So you can rest assured that no one is touching your funds and they are completely safe. Uh, and there's a bunch of other questions that have come up in uh, Facebook and Discord and I'll try and quickly clarify a few of those. So let's jump into it. Let's go through the video and hopefully uh, you guys are ready to rock and roll with us and get your account set up. Okay, so let's jump into it. Here's the list. So how does the API work? So in order to allow Stack Platform to access your existing crypto, you must first connect to your exchange and uh, that is done via the secure api and the api is just an application program interface that's all it is so for our our use case it's the interface that allows it to send and receive specific types of data with the exchange i.e place a buy order and place a sell order and to collect price and balance data as well so and just to reiterate stack invest works really closely with exchange partners so they're always making sure it's very secure, very user-friendly experience. Um, as I mentioned before, the API never has a withdrawal, right? So while Stack can execute trades on our behalf using uh, Forsea, there is a function that never ever allows them to move your crypto off the exchange. It stays in your wallet, it's controlled in your wallet, okay? So funds, uh, really easy to set up, select an exchange you wanna use, uh, Stack offered the following exchanges. Uh, I believe it's Bybit, FTX, BitMEX, and Binance. And I believe they do have a couple more getting rolled out soon. So we will keep you up to date on what goes on there. Uh, when you add your funds, add them into the exchange uh, that you want to use. Uh, and then copy and paste the API from that account. And then send that over to your stacked exchange when you're setting it up. Um, many, have you heard, many of you guys have... Uh, suggested uh, account size, so during registration. Um, I think the one thing we wanted to uh, emphasize is during registration, we asked you guys to nominate the size of your particular account. Um, you know, let's use, for example, uh, $5,000. So if you nominated $5,000, we suggest that you sort of run with that size because if everyone that registered um, runs with the size that they nominated, we're not going to come into too many liquidity and slippage issues from what we understand. Okay, but if everyone that nominated a five thousand dollar account, say fifty people said I want to use a five thousand dollar account, they've now been registered, they're now going to set up, and they all go from five thousand to fifty thousand. Well, the the amount of capital that's going to be trading in and out instantly um, is obviously going to impact and have some 
um, effect on liquidity. Could could have an issue, might not have an issue depending on what's on the books at the time. But uh, for now, we just would appreciate if you stick to what you um, nominated as per your account size. In the future, you may increase, you may uh, decrease your account size over time, uh, depending on how 4C is going and how you're feeling. Um, but if I was you, I would appreciate and um, stick to uh, what you had nominated before. Uh, there's also that question that always comes out. Uh, what do you mean by 100% 100 of funds will be used? So when Forsea takes a trade, you say you had $5,000 in there, it will take the entire $5,000 and take the trade, okay? And then when it sells out of a position, it will uh, take the entire position and put it, the, all the funds back into your account, okay? When we say 100%, we're not talking about 100x leverage. We're talking about 100% of your funds that sit in that account. So whatever's in that account will be traded in and out, in and out. Okay, hopefully that clarifies that. Uh, user interface. Uh, you know, I'm a very big um, user interface fan, whether it's an exchange, whether it's a platform, anything that I do, uh, I love good interface. Um, I love very clean uh, uh, screens <laughs> and what I'm using. So that was a real big thing for me with Stacked. Um, the Stack dashboard is super clean. It's really easy to use. Um, there is some mobile apps for both ISO and Android that are currently being developed. However, um, they're not really rolled out yet, but you will find the web version of Stack Platform is fully responsive and allows you to perform most actions from your phone. So that's really cool. Um, also, Stack is powered by real-time streaming. So the market data is directly from the exchanges. Um, if you have your exchange accounts connected to Stack, your balance, your transactions, your orders are always up to date. And uh, I think from memory, the balances of Stacked, uh, they, I think they're refreshed every 10, 15 minutes. So I know that they make every effort to ensure your portfolio and your information um, is always up to date. But full disclaimer, you never know what's gonna happen with crypto. You never know if uh, an exchange is gonna go into maintenance for a period of time. We've seen it over and over and over, and over again. And there always is issues when exchanges go into maintenance periods. So obviously just keep that in mind. If we can see uh, or forecast maintenance uh, periods coming up, your your, your um, dashboard might be down for a period of time. Okay, so just keep all that in mind. Um, setting up, okay, so we're issuing a link in your email, um, which you probably have by now. And the link will have these, um, the step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Follow the link. Uh, set up. Uh, I want to um, reiterate that this link is unique uh, for you members. Uh, so it's only the link has only been sent to the people that registered and, and have got the confirmation email. And the link is only valid for three days. So you have three days to uh, set up your account uh, via the exchange of your choice. And you then go set up uh, all the stuff on Stacked. And you have three days. Once the three days has passed, that link is, is expired um, and you will no longer be able to click on that link to set up your account. The stacked um, dashboard will show that there's a trading group, but it is private, okay? So no one else in the stacked um, community can come to Forsea and sign up and register. For now, we're only limiting to the Cryptify members, okay? Um, and staying up to date, what we're gonna do is Everything's gonna be uh, pushed through Discord. So all the Forsea um, trades, performance, um, some of our charting, uh, communication on what's going on with uh, Forsea like we've done in the past, it is all gonna to continue to be updated through Discord. So if you're not in Discord, you really need to be in Discord to keep an eye on what's going on. Heaps of chatter in the past of um, what's been happening uh, with Forsea, but going forward, everything's gonna be communicated through there. So you're gonna have your dashboard through Stack to see what's going on with your portfolio and balances. And then Discord, we will keep you up to date. So from here, we're gonna quickly go through a run through of setting up your account. Uh, Rev's gonna quickly run through that. And then you guys are good to go. We look forward to seeing you guys all set up on Forsea. Uh, the market is definitely in a position for a big move. Uh, really interested to see how Forsea performs. And we're really grateful and super stoked you guys are all on board with us and uh, look forward to trading all with you. Take care. See you soon. Bye. All right, guys. So we're going to go through uh, the Forsea procedure to actually hook up Forsea to your exchange, to your account via API. Really simple, really straightforward. I'll be delving into a few different things, um, but the actual process of setting it up 
is really, really straightforward. And that's why we utilize Stack Invest uh, for this. So let's go ahead and have a look. So you'll be receiving an email. Every single person will get a unique email that will take them to the Forcia suite. Now you'll need to make an account at Stack Invest. And once you're logged in, uh, you should be able to see a 4CS suite. If you can't, just go back to that email, click the link again, and it'll take you to the 4CS suite. And you'll see the 4CS long and short setup. You won't see the uh, long and close, which is this one here. You'll only see the 4CS long and short setup. All right, so uh, how do we uh, actually hook it up once you're logged in? Um, once you've actually purchased it and paid for the subscription for it, um, you'll, you'll end up seeing it in your, in your account here. Now, the first things first, you need to go and uh, set up the exchange setup right here. So we want to add an exchange on the exchange setup side. And you've got FTX by Bit, Bitmex, uh, Bitfinex, Binance. You have a few test nets as well, but we're not utilizing them at the moment. Now, this is Binance Spot, uh, not Binance Futures. That will be coming from what we know in, an, in about two weeks time. So for now, we recommend FTX. It's also the preferred exchange through Stack Invest. It just works really well there. Uh, leave this sub account left alone as it is. Now, if you head over, we're going to need to make an API on FTX. So make an, make an account if you don't have one, um, or make a referral account uh, for your actual FTX account so that you, you can uh, utilize the bot because it takes 100% position. So once you're in, you go to settings, scroll down here. Make sure that's set to 1x right there. And then on the API key section, create API key. Now, someone to really take note with the API keys, you'll only get the secret key now and never again. If you do end up losing this section before you manage to copy paste it across, just delete that API key and create a new one. So let's go ahead and copy this across. So we copy the API key, put that in this section, copy the secret, Put that in this section, and we want to call it for seal. We want to test the connection. Give you a little green box down here saying it's successful once it is. There it is. Now you save your settings, make sure you save your settings there. So there you have it. Um, it's hooked up and it gives you the actual balance of what's in that account. So currently it has zero. Um, it should uh, live update in about every 15 minutes, it should update this file for you. Now, if we go back to uh, the dashboard, you see it's there, but if you want to hook up your bot, once you've subscribed to it, bot marketplace, and you'll have your own subscribed ones here. Now from there, uh, you hit manage, so you'll have the four seal long and short setup, this one here, hit manage, and then you select exchange, FTX four seal, which is the one we just made. Make sure this is red, notifications only, if it is not red and it is green, it will not actually trade on your account. So it must be red, uh, just like that. 100% equity to trade. Uh, so Forcia will take 100% position, either in ETH or USDT, um, when it takes a trade. It needs to be set in that, in that same scenario. And a 1x leverage. We do not recommend any higher than 1x leverage due to Forcia does not have a sort of stop loss integrated into it. It just decides when it goes long, it decides when it goes short. It's just how it works. Um, we've tested it, back tested it, forward tested it. We've set up with SLs, you know, stop losses in place, take profits in place. And the one that really outperformed was the one that was just left alone on a 1X leverage, 100% equity in and out, long and short. So that's what you need to do there. Um, and then this here, max price range here, you can do it on percentage or dollar. What this is saying is, is causing slippage. So if there is slippage from the signal, so let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, history, or actually bot entries right there. So we can see the bot entry in this scenario was $239.21 USD. Now, if we select this to dollars and we select $1, if that went, let's say the signal was delayed, went through to stacked, went through to your API, back to your exchange, and it took two to three seconds. In those two to three seconds, if the dollar has slipped upwards in the wrong direction um, by a dollar, so 239 entry 21, if it moves to 249 21, it will not actually take a position for you. So if there's a dollar slippage against you, that's what that will do and move it away. So you can select that to be a dollar, 50 cents, 20 cents, 
$2, but just keep in mind you will miss the trade and your account will not take that trade. Um, we've done the numbers and we shouldn't really be causing too much slippage, um, but it is, it's, it's a, you know, it always varies. Sometimes on the books, there's, you know, 1.5 to $2 million worth of contracts, long and short, sometimes there's only $300,000, $200,000. So, you know, it is a possibility, so please keep that in mind. If you don't really want a max price range, just do a percentage or a dollar, just do a dollar by 100. It is on ETH. If the, if the price moves $100 from the signal, uh, it won't take the trade for you, which is, you know, I won't say it's impossible, um, but it's very, very rare. Um, also, stop loss here, you can choose to put a stop loss in. Like I said, Forcia does not require a stop loss. And a take profit as well, if you'd really like, with a trailing TP as well. Um, but we do not touch any of these. Uh, we just let them be, and that's how Forcia standard is. By all means, it's up to you guys, and you can mess around with this if you like. Um, you know, some people have their own sort of specifications as to how much they want to lose in, in a particular trade. But please understand, Forcia does go underwater, just as it has right now. It's currently 3% down uh, from its entry on the 1X. So, um, you know, if if you were, let's say you were stop lost at 3, 3%, you would have already been out of this trade. But, you know, it's go, it, Forsea does go underwater and come back up and, you know, do its thing. So that's what we've seen from, from past in, in the last 10 months of actual live testing and like forward testing. And then we have uh, up to, you know, from 2017, three years or so worth of back testing. Um, and it never has really gone underwater against itself um, to the point where you lose everything. So, you know, not saying that past performance is indicative of future performance, but it is something to note and let you guys know. But it is still a possibility at the end of the day. Now, the reason why we don't require, we don't, um, you know, say go any higher on leverage because it could really, really hurt because of foresee style. So let's say this was on a 10x, right? 10x leverage, which we do not recommend at all. Uh, this current trade will be down negative 0.6%, negative 30.6% on a 10x leverage. So you can see how much of a difference it makes. Yes, higher risk, higher reward, but we do not recommend it. So once you've done that, guys, once you've inputted FTX for CR there, once you've done it from the exchange setup, turn notifications off, 100% um, on equity, uh, 1x on leverage, and then if you choose to do some here, go for your life, it's totally up to you. But like I said, it is not uh, required from Forsea's side of things. And then just hit save. Once that's done, it's configured and saved. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, actually the bot marketplace, you can see now this one here, execution enabled. And that's all it takes, guys. That's how simple it is. I know I dived in a little bit further into it, but it's not that not that difficult at all. And that's why we chose Stack Invest. Um, we could have built this out and we could have you know, taken another three to six months to actually build this out for you guys. It would have been different, uh, but Stack Invex uh, works and you know we're proud of the partnership that we have with them. And this is all, just to clarify, this is all for CryptoFi only members at this current stage. There is no one else that will be able to see foresee a long short besides the people that get the email that have actually got the last email saying that they were, um, they were accepted, uh, or not accepted, but they were, you know, confirmed that they can get a chance to actually get into Forsea. So, guys, this is just for you guys and no one else. It's totally private to the rest of the people uh, in the marketplaces, so no one else can see it, no one else can um, actually subscribe to it. So, very, very exclusive for you guys. Um, um, so, yeah, just as we promised. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can jump in the settings here, I guess. One last thing to really look at. Notification settings here. Um, you can see the emails. You can get a desktop notification or an email notification of a bot open signal, closed signal, partial, position opened. You know, cool things because this this is this will keep you in the loop as to what's happening with your account um, if you're on the go as well. And then you can manage your subscriptions in here as well. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Cheers.